Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll be discussing example 7.15 from Mr. Alexander Siddiqui's book. And this relates to the response of an RC circuit. So let's define what is step response. If this is the circuit and the switch is open, then what will happen when we suddenly close the switch? So that is, is step response saying the step response is the response of the circuit due to a sudden application of DC voltage or current. So suddenly we are we, we applying this voltage, the capacitor behavior will change. It will go into the transient mode, start charging, and then after some time, this will become steady state mode. Now, one thing which is generally confusing is that when the book says find V or find VT, it actually means find VC in case of an RC circuit. And in case of an RL circuit, obviously it will be the voltage across the uh, capacitor, that uh, is uh, inductor. So I think it should have been better if we had written VC. But anyway, we'll follow the book, so we'll write VT. But keep in mind, this is the voltage across the capacitor. And this is the equation for uh, RLC circuit, step response of an RLC circuit. And three things uh, we have to understand. This one is the initial capacitor voltage. That is, before the switch is closed, what is the voltage uh, across the capacitor? That is called V0. And then is V infinity. When the switch is closed, and when this capacitor is fully charged, the circuit is in a steady state condition, then the voltage will be known as V infinity or final voltage. And then is time constant, tau. Tau is R into C, and this gives uh, an idea as to how much time the capacitor will take to charge. Okay, now let's come on to the circuit. Example, determine Vt and V0t. So we have to find the V0T or V out T, and also we have to find the voltage across the capacitor. So since we are applying the source suddenly, therefore the circuit is a step response circuit, and so we have to apply or we have to find uh, this equation. And in this equation, as we already discussed, we need to find tau, we need to find V naught, we need to find V infinity. So first of all, let's find V naught. And for that, the switch is open. And so this voltage will not go ahead, not pass or not influence this circuit. That means there will be no current flowing through the capacitor, so the capacitor voltage will be zero. So that we can write that the capacitor V or capacitor voltage at zero is zero. Then we come to V infinity. For that we have to close the switch. So when we close the switch for T greater than zero, the switch is closed. And now we have to find V infinity, the voltage to which the capacitor gets charged. Now, at a steady state, the capacitor acts like an open circuit. So, first of all, we keep it open, capacitor. And then, if you remove the, the capacitor, the whole thing to make it simple. So, this is the simplified circuit. Okay, so this is the circuit that we are going to use. Now this is a non-inverting amplifier. And we have learned from chapter number five 
that a non-inverting amplifier, this is similar to this, except that this is V1. Here we have a battery showing V1 or VI. The remaining two things, RF, R1, this is RF, this is R1. And the formula for V out, this voltage, is 1 plus RF over R1, VI or V1 in our case. So we'll use this to find out V infinity or V out infinity. But to find V out infinity, we need V1 from here. So we need to find what is V1. And V1, we have to calculate from this circuit. So we calculate V1 by the voltage deviant rule. So V1 is total voltage, 3 divided by total resistance and multiplied by 20K. So V1 is 2 volt. So this will be our now new circuit. We're replacing this with a 2 volt battery. And this is the circuit that we got to solve. Okay, and V now V infinity or V out infinity from here. This is V out. So first of all, we'll find V out infinity, which is 1 plus Rf over R1. So Rf is 50 and R1 is 20 and V1 is 2. So this solving will give 3.5 multiplied by 2, 7 volt. So V out infinity we have found, but we need to find V capacitor infinity. For that, we'll use this formula. You see V1, this is V0, and this is V. So we can say that V1 minus this is V. And from here, we can say that V or V capacitor is V1 minus V dot. And we, we have already found V naught infinity, also V1 infinity. So we can find V infinity. So V infinity is V1 infinity minus V naught infinity. So V1 is 2.5, and this is for all time, so whether it in infinity or immediately after the switch closure. So this will replace by 2. This one we have found 7 volts, so minus 7. So V capacitor infinity or V infinity is minus 5 volt. Okay, now we need to find tau. Tau is R C, R into C. But which R? This is the circuit that we have. So there are so many R's, but it has to be the R across the capacitor. So this R, which is across the capacitor, that we'll use. This is also called R, R theven, you can say. Okay, so RC is now uh, 50K and multiplied by the capacitor 1 microfarad, so it will be 0 0.05 second. And now the general equation, this was the formula, so we'll plug in all the values that we have found. We have found V0, we have found V infinity, and we have also found tau. So V infinity is minus 5, so minus 5 V0, 0, 0, minus minus 5, e raised to the power T over tau, tau is 0 0.05. And this we can rearrange, it will be minus 5 and minus minus plus 5, e raised to the power minus 20 T. So 1 over 0 0.05 will give 20, so it will be 20 T minus 20 T. We can further it, arrange it like this. So take 5 common and e raised to the power minus 2t minus 1. So this is the proper form of writing. Okay, so v z t we have found. Now we need to find V0t. And V0t, as we saw from here, the relation between V1, V0, and F. From there we can say that V0t is V1t minus Vt. 
v1 t we already know v t we have calculated from here v1 t or v1 is 2 volt so this is 2 volt minus we are using this this term and simplifying we get this answer so this is how you can easily solve i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments thank you